So let's take one program. Print 1 to 10. So if you want to print 1 to 10, so basically you need to take the looping statement. Okay, you can use while loop or for loop. Okay, I would like to take the for loop for x in range. Okay, 10 and then print x. Okay, so let's try this way. For x let me see the for loop so the syntax are very important we need to remember the syntax x in range okay x in x in sorry in range and then you have to make a semicolon Okay, so 0 to 9. So I need to print up to 10, right? Okay, and if you look at the question carefully, so print 1 to 10, not from 0 to 10. Okay, so you know that the range has uh, three arguments. Okay, the range has three arguments. So start argument, end argument, and then the third one is increment or decrement. Okay, so if you don't give the start, if you don't give uh, the start argument, or if you give only uh, one argument, right now I, I have given only one argument. So if you give only one argument, it thinks that by default uh, the index starts from zero and then up to n minus one, that is 11 minus one. So zero to 10 has printed, okay? So what I wanted to print one to 10, okay? you must have to say one comma 11. You can see one to 10. So let's take uh, another program print 1 to 100 even numbers so i want to print 1 to 100 even numbers okay so first uh, first let's know how to print uh, you know 1 to 100 normal numbers okay x in range okay x in range 1 comma 100 right 1 at 1 yeah that's right print x so 1 to 100, 100. printed okay so now the yeah. question is print to 1 to 100 even numbers okay so i want to print um you know uh, 2 4 6 8 10 yeah. 1 like that okay so how can we do that let me try it so if x is a number and x divided by a 2 and then it results 0 that means it's an even number and then print x okay let me try this one so okay simple so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. Simple. One more condition I added. So the x is initially 1. 1 divided by 2. That's not possible. Okay. So the x is 2. 2 divided by 2. And the result will be 0. Okay. So print x. Yeah. And then 3 divided by 2 definitely uh, the remainder is not zero it will be one right so yeah the remainder is one not zero so it, it doesn't print three doesn't print four divided by two so uh, when we divide four divided by two the remainder is zero right see i'm dividing four okay so two two zers four and this is the reminder. Yeah. This is the reminder. If the reminder is zero, so when I make x divided by two, okay, when I do this way, and if the reminder is zero, okay, so then the condition becomes true, and then you print x. Okay. So if yeah. you take five, five divided by two, 
okay for example 5 divided by 2 2 to the 4 okay and then yeah. you get one. as 1 so if the remainder is 0 then only you print that x so the condition if the remainder is 0 then only you print yeah. that x otherwise don't print it okay okay I get it. yeah so basically this is called remainder and this is called quotient q this is called quotient okay Okay. So if the remainder is zero, then you print. You take that, you get into that if block and then print the value that is obviously two, four, six, eight, yeah. etc. Okay. Print one, two hundred odd numbers. So earlier we printed uh, 1, 200 uh, even numbers. Now I'm going to print our numbers for x in uh, range 1, 2. So it, it should not be 100, okay? So n minus 1, right? So 1, not 1. If you want to reach up to 100, you have to give 1, not 1. Okay. And then, so this time the condition we need to vary okay so x divided by 2 not equal to 0 not equal to 0 okay so if it is if the number is dividable by 2 then obviously it's a even number okay 2 even is number. Divided by 2 yeah. 4 is dividable dividable by 2 6 is yeah. dividable by 2 and yeah. 20 is dividable by 2. Okay. Right. If the number is dividable by 2, it is called as even number. Yeah. If any number that is not dividable by 2, then it's called as an odd number. Yeah. Okay. So 3 cannot be divided by 2. 7 mm. cannot be divided by 2. 9 no. cannot be divided by 2. 13 cannot be divided by 2. Okay. So these are the odd numbers. If Got it. Cannot, yeah. If x cannot be divided by 2, then it's an odd number and print that odd number. Okay. okay. So we have to be very, very careful um, with respect to the syntax. Okay. Sometimes you can able to easily understand from the error that is uh, that is shown by the Python. Sometimes um, we cannot understand, but yeah, we have to manage uh, with our experience. Okay, so here it is showing line number three. Okay, and there is a syntax error expected colon. So, what do you understand? We have to put colon somewhere there, not somewhere. Uh, end of the if, yes, yeah. Okay. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So all these are the odd numbers. Yeah. 100. Okay. The next program is reverse a string. Okay. So let's take a uh, string. Hello. And let me print that uh, string, hello. Sorry, let me print that uh, variable. Hello, okay. So when I say reverse a string, the input, you can take any input. Here I'm taking hello. And output should be wo, l, l, e, h. Okay, reversing the string. So this is what I'm expecting, okay. So, how do we uh, deal this program? For x in str, okay, and then print, print x. Okay, h e l l o. So, I could able to. Uh, the print each character h e l l o but i need to print in a reverse order i need to print in a reverse order right so if i take um, print 
रेंज रेंज So how do we do that? Take one uh, variable, reverse uh, string. It's an empty variable. So reverse string equal to. X plus reverse. X plus. Reverse. Okay. First I get uh, H. Empty. Yeah, we need to do some magic here. So first uh, I get X, okay. The the value of the X uh, from the string is H. So H will be added to output. Uh, output, the H will be added to reverse string, okay. So initially the reverse string is H, okay. Now from the STR, E will come, E will come, okay. So in the reverse string already H is there and then H plus E. Okay, so instead of H plus E, if I can do E plus H, so this should work. Okay, so let me try X plus reverse string and then and then print print reverse string okay you can see o l l e h okay okay so what i have done here so i took a uh, string hello that's an input okay and i took one empty string there is nothing in that string that is called a reverse uh, string okay and uh, and if you look at so this is the x value and this is the output. Okay. Absolutely. So in the very beginning, from the X tier, what is coming to the X? Character by character. First, which character will be coming to the X? The H. H. So the S tier is hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. It will it will iterate character by character. Okay. So first yeah. the character. The first character comes that is H. H. Okay. So in the output, what I'm doing here, reverse string equal to express reverse string. Okay. So X is X is H. And in the reverse string at this moment, nothing is there. Yeah. Empty. Okay. It's empty. Okay. And the final yeah. output is final output is. H okay. H. H. So now the loop completes. Okay. The next loop begins. From the STR, the next character is coming. What is that next character? It's E. After the H, the next character is E. E. Okay. So X plus reverse string. Okay. X is H. Uh, X is E at this moment. Oh, the next one, yes, the next, e. next. One. Okay, and plus reverse string. So in the reverse string, already H is there. Yeah. Okay, H is there. Okay, so E plus H, E plus H, that is assigned to reverse string. What is that? E H. E plus H is E H. Okay. Now, what is the next character? After it's E, L. L. It's L. L. Yeah. L. Okay. So 
So L plus already what is that? EH. X is L, right? L plus reverse string. In the reverse string, this is the reverse string. Okay. Already yeah. H is there. Okay. L E H. Yeah. L E H. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the next one is again L. Okay. Another L, yeah. L plus reverse string. In the reverse string already L E H is there. Total L L E H. Okay. So yeah. Reverse string. The again for loop continuous. Okay. So what is the last character? Zero. Yeah. Zero. So X is zero. Zero plus reverse string. Reverse string. What is there in the reverse string? Already L L E H is there. L E H. L E H. And that becomes that becomes O L L E H. Okay. So finally, in the reverse string variable, you have O L L E H. And that is what I printed. 